Hello everyone, we completed the fundamentals of machine learning part, our first part. I didn't cover all details, but we saw a good summary of fundamentals of machine learning, and I think it is enough to start for the experimental part. And now we will see phishing detection with machine learning. I want to start from zero, especially I want to cover underrepresented parts like understanding the problem, analyzing the requirements, making literature review. Because you can find very beneficial videos on YouTube about machine learning, but they usually focus on data and algorithm part. I want to cover all the important phases and I want to provide more holistic and comprehensive tutorial for everyone. Let's see the outline of the second part. I want to make a very brief introduction for the experimental part. As you see on the slide, there will be nine major sections in the second part of our video series. First of all, I will show the ways of understanding the problem, how you can inspect and review the related works. We will also check open source code examples, similar ones, to see available solutions in the literature and on the internet. Then we will decide the approach and design the process from the beginning to end. At this moment, we will also determine suitable models, pick potentially suitable ones based on our assumptions. Remember, no free lunch theory. After understanding the problem, deciding the approach and designing the flow, we will start coding with Python. Firstly, I will briefly show web scraping with Python, and I will show a few examples from the beautiful sub model. Then we will start feature engineering section. We will create a new feature for our models. Then I will show examples for feature extraction and feature selection part. As I said before, data is critical for machine learning. I will not use prepared and structured data set. I will show how to collect data, clean it and process it. And at the end of this process, we will be ready to start machine learning experiments with our structured data. At this stage, we will prepare training and testing data. We will build different classification models for our problem and we will train them. Then we will test our models and obtain performance measures. Also, I will show how to visualize the results by Python libraries. Of course, like in everything, we will have some problems, some issues, and we will analyze these issues together and fix them. And after all, after completing the previous sections, we will be ready for the deployment part and the checkmate. I will also give some tips to make your study visible after this part. Before starting, I want to remind that I will use Python as programming language and PyCharm for IDE in the experimental part. So, complete your installations and prepare your experimental environment and let's start.